creature. As the west wind, the gods have ordered me to abandon you on the hill of oblivion. But I cannot do it. Instead, I will leave you here, Unico, and pray that the gods don't find you. Once again, you are all alone. You will remember nothing of what has happened. Goodbye, Unico. Where am I? How did I get here? Is anybody here? There's got to be somebody. Hey! Can anybody hey, hear me? Hey, put a lid on it. I'm trying to sleep. Yippee! There's somebody here! There's somebody here! <laughs> hey! Where are you? Oh. <gasps> oh, there you are! Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? Where have you been, Mars or something? I am Melvin Magnificat, and this is my forest! Oh, Melvin Magnificat? That certainly is an attractive coat you have. Mm, you better believe it. It strikes terror into the hearts of anyone that sees it. Ow! Ooh, oh, 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 are you oh. all right? Oh, shut up! Where are you from, Pee Wee? I don't know. Where are you headed? I don't know. I never met anybody before who didn't know where he came from or where he's headed to. Lots of luck, Pee-wee. Huh? What in the world are you? I'm Unico. Well, what sort of a name is that? What sort of thing are you? I'm Unico, that's all. Just Unico. Yeah, yeah, but what exactly is a Unico? <laughs> Maybe you're some kind of sheep. Oh. No, I don't think I'm any kind of sheep. Ooh. Well, I ain't never seen nothing like you before. I don't like your looks. Oh, uh, wait. Well, well, what are you doing? I'm Unico, that's all I know. Yeah, stay away from me, get back. I'm not going to do anything. That's what you say. What's that horn doing on your head? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> You're just waiting to stick me with it as soon as my back is turned. I wouldn't do anything like that. Yeah, stay away from me. Whoa. Go ahead, kill me. I'm all yours. Get it over with. I'm so young. I had my whole life ahead of me. Melvin. Huh? Take a good look at that guy you're so scared of. What? You know, when you start bawling like a baby in front of a midget like that, we begin to wonder whether you should be the boss of this forest anymore. But, but his horn! <laughs> it's the size of a toothpick. It couldn't harm a flea. Hey, watch out! <laughs> What's the big idea? Hmm? Thought you could pull a fast one on me, did ya? You're not so tough after all, are you? I'll teach you to make a fool out of Melvin Magnificat. Oh! Oh! Yeah! I'm gonna kill you! God. Yeah! I'm gonna turn that horn of yours into mandolin picks! Stop right where you are, Pee Wee! I won't! Yeah! Oh. Okay, that does it! Now you made me mad! <laughs> There he goes! <laughs> if he knows what's good for him, he'll clear out of my forest and pronto. Come on. You handle that real good. Well, that's what a boss is for, after all. Yeah, that's true enough. forest, but I don't know which way is out.
nobody seems to like me in this forest. He is trying to muscle his way into my territory. It's kind of nice music, you know. It almost makes you want to cry, don't it? <laughs> hey, you! That's it! The party's over! Knock it off! That's better! Now take that little flute of yours and fly away! Get out of here! Hey! You hear me? Huh? Who is that guy? Hey! Put an egg in your shoe and beat it! You heard the boss! Get lost! to me ah, wait just a minute you stay away this is your last warning no 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 not so fast listen to me stop will ya uh, parlez-vous francais sprechen sie deutsch stop
I'll serve you. I'll be your slave. I'll do anything you say. Really, I will. Really. Perhaps you could be of use to me. <laughs> sure, sure. So be it. You shall serve me. I must turn all the animals of the forest into living puppets. What do you mean, puppets? Just that. I turn them into living puppets. But why would you want to do something like that, huh? That is no concern of yours. Your job is to help me locate the animals. Okay, okay, it's your party, pal. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, look over there, a squirrel! <gasps> They're quick, aren't they? Ah, a couple of rabbits over there. Hmm. Hmm. These creatures are too small. You must find me something bigger. It would help if you could shoot straight. Go! <laughs> I gotcha. Back there! Just what you're looking for! Ha. Oh. 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 Mm. What's this? I've never seen anything like it. And what sort of animal are you? Come on, come on, turn him into a puppet. This I gotta see. I think the master will be pleased with this one. Wow! There he goes, there! Come on, shoot him, shoot him! Come on! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Be quiet! I told you to watch out. Why didn't you listen to me? Oh, shut up. That's just great. I try to save your neck and you tell me to shut up. I don't like this relationship. Listen, you little... Okay, okay. Say, boss. You may call me Toby. Toby? That is my name. Well, Toby, once the animals have been turned into living puppets, what's next? That is not for you to know. Oh, come on. I'm your pal. You can tell me. Can't you give me a hint? Shh. Be quiet, you fool. The master hmm? is approaching. Hmm? Toby. Toby! Toby! I am here, Lord Karuku. Your wish is my command. I hope you have not been lazy, Toby. No, Master. Is the ship ready for departure? 
Yes, Master. And its cargo of living puppets. Are they ready as well? It... it has proven more difficult to catch the animals than I had hoped, Master. Oh, I am not interested in excuses, Toby. I'm sorry, Lord Karuku. Well, you will just have to work harder, won't you? Because I simply have to have my living puppets, don't I? Yes, Master. Oh, yes. Toby, once you finish with all the animals, you may begin collecting... people. Collecting people? I believe that's what I said. They are such stupid things that I am sure they will be even easier for you to deal with than the animals. You may begin with those houses down in the valley there. You do that for me, won't you? Toby? I will, of course, Master. And in return, you will teach me more of your magic? Hurry up and bring the living puppets to my island. And if I am pleased, I suppose I might teach you another magic trick. Master. And be quick about it, Toby. Yes, Lord Karuku. W what was that? A magician. And my master. That's some trick appearing and disappearing like that. Did he say he wanted you to start turning people into living puppets? Ha, that's my idea of a good time. I never like people. Can't stand them. Come on, zap them. Oh, boy, I can't wait to see this. Ha! Be quiet, unless you want to be the very first to undergo the transformation. Oh, 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 oh. This wasn't part of the bargain. Say, are you really gonna zap every one of the people down there? Everyone? <laughs> I said be quiet. Sorry. Oh, he's awake. It's amazing he's still alive after all that he's been through. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Are you all right? Huh? It looks like somebody roughed the little fellow up. Here you go. Drink some milk. I can't say I've ever seen anything quite like him. Here, you've got to have some of this milk. That way you'll get your strength back. Come on. Here, watch me and I'll show you how to do it, all right? Huh, he's probably frightened of people. Well, I'll take care of that. You see that man at the table smoking a pipe? That man is my father. And that woman with her hands in the suds is my mother. Is it working? Uh, there you go. There used to be another person here, my older brother, but he went away. That was almost three years ago now. I wonder where he is, what he's doing. It's time we forgot about him. Enough. I'm certain he's forgotten all about us by now. I have an early day. I'm turning in. Good night, Father. Hmm. Good night. Why do I make Father angry whenever I mention my brother? Your father's not angry with you, dear. When a man is worried by something inside him, and he's too proud to weep or cry out, he sometimes gets angry at those around him. But he's not angry with you. Not with you. Poor little fellow. You look like you haven't a friend in the world. Me too. I lost my best friend when I lost my brother. Don't be frightened. From now on, we can be each other's best friend. Isn't that right, Mother? That's right, Cherry. So, let's have a little milk now. Come on, what's wrong with you? You've got to drink some. Cherry, don't threaten him. You're just frightening him all the more. 
<laughs> Sorry. He'll be better in the morning. Come along, it's time for bed. Mother? Yes, dear? May I stay up with him a little longer? All right, don't be too long. I won't. Good night. I like you, you know? I like all animals. Birds and rabbits and squirrels and everything. And I like my brother. I like him a lot. I'm Unico. I like all animals, birds and rabbits and everything. And I like you too. Fella. Just repeat, I'm not scared three times and you'll be fine. Hmm? <gasps> I guess it is a little scary. Toby, is that you? Oh, yes, it is you. You've come home at last. But where have you been all this time? We were so worried about you. Oh, Toby. But my boy, what on earth is that you've got on? It looks like a magician's costume, Toby. That's exactly what it is, Mother. Smells kind of familiar. Hmm. Sherry, I've brought you a gift. Hmm? 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 Oh. Watch closely now. Isn't it the loveliest doll you've ever seen? Take it, it's yours. I can't. I'm afraid of it. And after I went to all the trouble of making it for you. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Toby, what have you become? What you see, Father. I can do anything. Hmm? Toby, stop it. Leave your father alone. <sighs> I don't like this, my boy. From this moment on, you will wear nothing but the finest dresses, Mother. Ah! 
I don't want them. I don't want them. Leave me alone. What are you trying to do, Toby? I can do anything. Anything at all. I have been given the power to make you all happy for the rest of your lives. Father, that old pipe is your prized possession, isn't it? Well, I can turn that pipe into gold. Stop it! These powers of yours, they're, they're not right, Toby. You can't find real happiness by waving your hand and casting a magic spell. <sighs> I should have known you'd say something like that. You haven't changed a bit, Father. Sherry, you've got to hide. Get out of here. Ridiculous. This is our home. What on earth should we hide from? There's no time to explain. Toby. <laughs> Toby. <laughs> Toby, you're not being lazy again, are you? Toby. Toby. My, my, Toby. Imagine finding you in a place like this. Oh, those are people, aren't they, Toby? No, Lord Karuku, these people are useless. Oh, Toby, you do them a disservice. I think they will make delightful puppets. <laughs> now, are there any other people in this house, Toby? Uh, none. Well, then. Hurry up and do to the rest of the village what I just did to this charming couple. You won't keep me waiting, will you, Toby? Toby! Where are you? Cherry, go and hide yourself in the forest. If you don't hide, your brother will have to turn you into a living puppet. Why are you doing this to us? Please, Toby, change mother and father back again. Change them back. I'm sorry, Sherry, but I can't. I don't know how. Only Lord Karuku has the power to change our mother and father back. I can only follow my master's orders. And so I must turn all the villagers, people of my own kind, into living puppets. And in return, my master teaches me another little bit of his magic. But someday, Sherry, when I am the greatest magician in the world, I will find a way to repay you. I swear it.
both going away somewhere. They're all going away. wonder why. Let's follow them and find out. All right. ship with my parents. I wonder where they're taking everybody. Nightmare Island. Nightmare Island, huh? I've heard bad things about that place. Does your boss want to carry all these things to Nightmare Island for? Huh? You'll find out when we get there. I wonder where the ship oh. is going. I don't know, but I hope. Is Nightmare Island far? No, not far at all. You can see it already. Whoa!
that house, guess I see. However, did you find your way in? Lord Guruku, please, sir, I beg of you. You beg of me? I'm volunteering to become living puppets. That's very charitable of you. Oh, you know that's not what I mean. Turning people into puppets is a wicked thing. You're a bad man! <laughs> Well, aside from that, am I the sort of person you'd like to spend time with, hmm? Lord Karuku, you've got to return my mother and my father! You're wasting your time, little girl, and what's worse, you're wasting mine! Toby! Toby, come to me! I am here, Master. I want you to deal with this annoying pair of little trespassers, Toby. Hmm? Sherry. Toby! I beg a favor of you, Lord Karuku. My, this is a big day for begging favors. What is it? Why, they are only children, Master. Please don't force me to turn them into living puppets. Well then, what is it that you propose? As they are only children, let me turn them into toys, Master. Fine, fine. Just get rid of the little brats. Thank you, Master. <laughs> Sherry, why didn't you listen when I told you to hide in the forest? This is the weirdest looking toy I ever saw. Forgive me, Sherry. But you see, I know the magic for toys. Soon I will change you back and carry you away from this island. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to do it for this little run, too. Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right, my little toy. I'm in the mood to be of you. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, Master. You're not lollygagging, are you?
biggest magic castle in the world, and it's mine. <laughs> Nothing can stop me higher and higher until its walls are made up of every living creature on the face of the earth. <laughs> an appointment to keep in the Valley of the Demons. The Valley of the Demons? Well, what's that? I must go. No, Toby, stop. You have to save our mother and father. Come back here! Toby! What about our mother and father? He's gone. Where is this Valley of the Demons? Oh, no! He's going there to turn all of them into living puppets. Come on, Unico. Where to? We've got to go there, too. The Valley of the Demons? We have to stop Toby. We have to warn the demons before they're all turned into living puppets. Uh, oh. uh, 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 do we have to? They've all gone. Toby must have turned them into puppets and taken them away. <laughs> Listen! What? What is it? Shh! I hear something. It's over there. What do you think it could be? It sounds like crying. But who could be crying? Hello? Who's there? Oh, here they are! Those are baby demons! So he wasn't able to find you, huh? What happened to your parents? He... He... He took all our mothers and fathers away. 
We all hid down here in this hole. And now we're alone. <laughs> it was my brother who did this to you. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> Would. Well then, where exactly is the Sphinx who knows everything? Uh, hey! Stop it! Let me go! Oh, uh, this is serious business, you! I'm... Oh! Cut it out! What's wrong with you? Oh. Uh, Sherry, we've got to find this Sphinx! She's the only chance that we've got! She's over there! She's over there! You don't have far to go! We'll go and see the Sphinx! And I promise we'll bring your parents back to you. Don't worry. We'll be back soon. So be brave. And don't cry. Mama. Anyone live in a place like this? Uh. Come on, Sherry. You're right. We have to find her. For... For my mother and father's sake. But I'm so tired. So tired. Uh. Uh. Oh. I can't go. Much further. Who goes there? Who dares trespass on my desert? Go away! Hey, answer me! Are you two all right? Uh oh. I've never seen anything like you. What are you? Ugh. Ha! I'm not so sure you're even worth saying. Yet. Ask 
me something simpler. We're in trouble, Sherry. Hmm. Oh! Wait a minute! I bet the great Trojan horse would be able to help you fight this guy's magic powers. My mother said that he knows almost as much as she does. The Trojan horse? You got it! The Trojan horse at the end of the earth! But listen, the end of the earth is a long, long, long way from here. But that's where you'll find him. Could he really be the one to tell me how to get my mother and father back? But nobody's ever been able to make it to the end of the earth. Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh, and the two of you are crazy! Hey, do you think you could just walk to the end of the earth? They're nuts. Hey, stop! Oh. Hey! Come back! You'll never make it! You could walk for years and years and years and still not even get close to it! That may be. But I have to try. Unico. Yes, Sherry? This is where we go our separate ways. <laughs> our separate ways? What do you mean? Just what she said, Bonehead. Can't you see that the lady's trying to tell you goodbye? G goodbye but does that mean that she's leaving me here? No! No, I won't stay here. I'm coming with you to the end of the earth. Unico. Hmm? Thank you for coming along with me this far, but now I have to go on alone. I can't take you with me. Why not? Just because. Because why? You, Nico. Goodbye. Sherry! Stop following me. Sherry, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? She doesn't like me anymore. Oh, yeah? That's right, she's leaving me behind, isn't she? Bonehead, she not only likes you, she loves you. No, she doesn't. If she did, she wouldn't go away and leave me here. She wouldn't. It's because she loves you that she's making you stay here. She doesn't want you to have to suffer, too. She's going to find the end of the world all by herself. She's really something else. Ah, uh, you're right. Sherry! Wait, Sherry! You do love me! You do! And I love you! I can help you, Sherry! I can! What? What's happened to the little guy? Hey, slow down! It's that way you fly right out the end of the earth! I'm... I'm sorry I couldn't take you with me, Unico. I miss you already. Oh, Unico, goodbye. <gasps> Who are you? Are you taking me to the end of the earth? Hey, wait a minute! Wait for me! As long as you're going that way, take me with you! Oh. At this rate, we'll be there in no time. Oh, no! If you're here, that means you left Unico back there all to Unico. Do we still have a long way to go? A long, long way. And I'm getting hungry. Unico and Toby, mother and father, I wonder what's happened to them. I'm so alone.
Is this the end of the earth? You got it! And I know just where to look for the Trojan horse. My mother told me once. Come on! Hurry up! Thank you. Oh! <gasps> Unico, it's you! I should have known that we never could have been separated. Thank you. I can't believe it. Okay, okay, let's go! Are you gonna stand there all day holding him like that? Come on! Why is there so much old junk here? Because it's the end of the earth. All the things that nobody wants get washed up here. Yama, yama! Oh, look! Here comes some more junk now, huh? Oh, no wonder somebody threw this away. Yeah! Oh! How sad. This chair could have been fixed up almost as good as new. So this is what happens to all the things nobody wants. But where's the Trojan horse? I know! Huh? Hey! Trojan horse! Where are you? This certainly isn't the Trojan horse. You're a human! <gasps> Who said that? A human! Yes, a human. A human? A human! A human, just like the ones that threw us away! A human! Was someone looking for me? Huh? What, where are you? Well, uh, I am right under you, young lady. <gasps> Pardon me! Is that you? I am the Trojan horse. Wow! What a mess of a horse! Am I really that filthy? You bet you are. You're disgusting, isn't he? Yep. Well, I'm not surprised. It's been over a thousand years since anyone bothered to give me a good cleaning. Oh, that's all right. If we just dust you off, <coughs> you'll be as good as new. See? Why, thank you, young lady. Ah, I feel better already. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have someone take care of me. There you go. <laughs> Would you mind terribly if we asked you a question, Mr. Horse? It's about Lord Kuruku, isn't it? Why don't you take a peek in my eye, young lady? In your eye? Then you already know about Kuruku? Oh, you'd be surprised at what I know and what I can reveal to you when you look in my eye. Oh. Very well. I will tell you the story of Kuruku. Long, long ago, Kuruku washed up here, just like all the other things you see about you. Look! It's a puppet! Yes, once upon a time, Kuruku was a marionette, but unhappily, he fell into the hands of some very bad people. Bad people? Yes, a mean-tempered old woman and a wicked magician. They mistreated Kuruku terribly. They pulled and yanked at his strings, and when they finally became a tangled mess, they simply threw him away. They threw him away? As if he were so much garbage. And after countless years floating in the sea, he washed up here at the end of the earth. Look, a beam of light! What is it? There is only one spot in the land at the end of the earth where the sun shines, and then for only a few moments every day. That is the spot where Kuruku ended up. And after 200 or 300 years of this, a strange thing happened. <gasps> He's beginning to move! Just so. The light of the sun is full of mysterious powers. 
But at the same time it woke him from his long sleep, it kindled in him a burning hatred of humanity. For it was humanity that had thrown him away. And so, one day, he left the land at the end of the earth in search of revenge. So how can we fight Karuka's magic? I don't know. What? I only know that your courage and love are the best weapons against him. Huh? Is, is that, that all you can say? That is all I can say. You must fight his evil with your goodness, and you won't know which is the stronger until the battle is over. Right. Let's go find out. Thank you, Mr. Horse. Goodbye, my children. rest around here recently. Who is it this time? Why, it's those two insufferable brats I met not long ago. Why on earth are they running around, you suppose? mistaken, but didn't I have you both turned into toys? Yes. I even danced for you. <laughs> I think perhaps Toby is playing a trick on me. Please, Karuka. You can't keep everyone as your puppet forever. That's right. You've got to turn them back. Ah, and why should I, you little one? Are you trying to frighten me? Toby! I'd like a word with you! Toby! Yes, sir! Not you, you idiot! Oh. Yes, Lord Karuku. You have need of me? Explain yourself! Sherry! What is she doing here? Well 
Toby. To bring this game to an end, I suppose we shall have to turn them into living puppets. Toby? Did you hear what I said? There is really no other option open to us now, is there? Toby! I order you to turn them into living puppets now! You forget that I am human too, Lord Karuku. Yes, yes, so you are. And it is amazing to me that I have never held that against you. I've been waiting for the day when you turn me into a puppet as well. I think that day has come. After all, you are no longer any use to me if you won't obey orders, Toby. You leave me no choice! Run, Sherry! Run as fast as you can! I won't! Do you really think you're a match for me? How interesting! Run, Sherry! Ahoy. Little fool, this is no place for you. Very well, Master. See how you like this? <laughs> Somehow I believe you'll have to do a lot better than that. <laughs> There's more where that came from. creatures you are. Aren't you the least bit frightened of me? Actually, I'm terrified of you. And so am I. Marvelous! That is the nicest thing anyone has said to me all day. And there's something else. Go no. ahead. This is a terrible life you're leading when frightening people makes you happy. I am leading a terrible life, am I? <laughs> you don't know how happy you're making me. Please don't stop now. It feels wonderful. Stop it, please. You shouldn't frighten people. Leave her alone. <laughs> How delightful. And to think that once upon a time I had to hide my hatred of humans. I had to dance when they wanted me to dance and smile when they wanted me to smile. But no longer. Times have changed and the shoe is on the other foot. Isn't it now? Kuruku, hmm? listen! Oh, shut up! No longer do I take orders from humans. Your time has come. Now I just have a little cleaning up to do outside, and my day will be complete.
Unico! <laughs> Jerry! Unico, please forgive me. I should never have brought you to such an evil place. Unico, run!
Now you have no place to run, you four-legged glue pot. I don't plan on running anymore. You leave me no choice but to fight you, Karuku. I will struggle to hide my terror. Prepare to die. Stand a chance against him. Oh! What are you talking about? This is more than a scratch. But I had no idea. I hardly touched you. I'm sorry. <gasps> Why are you saying that you're sorry? <gasps> Why? Because I feel sorry for you. You feel? What do you mean you feel sorry for me? I'm sorry that you're full of... Uh, so much hate. You think that all people are your enemies, but that's only because you've never had a friend. Did you say a friend? I know how important friends are. That's why I understand you. <gasps> Please stop it. The idea of me being someone's friend... It's making me feel quite ill! <sighs> I know what happened to you long ago. I know that some people treated you badly. If you had a friend, you'd know that not everyone's like that. You must be very lonely. Lonely! He says that I'm lonely! But don't you understand? I hate people! I do! Uh, uh. What's wrong, Karuku? How can you be so cruel? All this talk of friendship and understanding is making me feel all soft and gooey! I have lived only to hate humanity, and now you tell me that I am lonely, that people are good, that I need a friend. Your words are melting my heart. Karuku, don't worry, I'll be your friend, okay? Ah! If you free all the puppets from your magic spell, I'll be your friend forever. Never want to be a friend of mine. Ooh. Oh wait, Karuko, don't be frightened. Anyone can have a friend, really. It's too late for me, I'm afraid. Oh. Karuko! Oh. 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 What's happening? My hatred was the only thing that kept me alive. You've taken it from me. I have nothing left. But for the first time in my life, I can hardly say it. I feel good!
did someone call me? Oh. Unico, my child, it's time for you to leave this place. Leave? Yes, the gods will soon discover what you've done here. I must take you someplace far away where they cannot find you. But why? Because that is your fate, Unico. Come. May I at least say goodbye to Sherry? She will never forget you. Sherry, goodbye. Father. Toby. Unico? Unico? Unico! Hmm, <gasps> good as new, huh? You get back here, Woofer, Tweeter! <gasps> Wait up! Here you go. 